Digital 3D models are used today in entertainment, design, and engineering. The creation of such models is not trivial and there are many advantages for using existing models, parts, or designs. In recent years, research efforts have been devoted to allow the user to directly manipulate the surface while preserving the geometric surface details. Detail-preserving techniques treat the edited object to be made of a homogeneous, rubber-like material that responds uniformly to user manipulations. These approaches have been highly successful for organic objects, however they are less suited for man-made shapes. Such models are largely dominated by flat or smooth faces, where the shape is defined by a few typical features which carry the special characteristic and geometric meaning. We hypothesize that preserving the properties and global structure of these features allows preserving the defining characteristics of the entire object. We take an analyze and edit approach where prior to editing we perform a lightweight analysis of the input shape to extract a few descriptive features termed eye wires. To extract the wires, we identify mesh edges that have sharp dihedral angles or lie on the boundary and then use a tracing procedure to form the wires. We analyze the object to identify the characteristics of the individual wires and learn their mutual relationships. Note that a wire can belong to more than one group as in this case. When the shape of a wire is altered as a result of direct user manipulation or indirectly when the edit operation is propagated, the original wire characteristics can be destroyed. We perform an optimization process to restore them as much as possible. Here we show deformation examples of individual wires with different internal properties to preserve. In these examples, the reference wires are in green, the deformed wires are in gray, and the optimized wires are in blue. We start from a seed set of wires that were manipulated by the user. We propagate the edit operation onto all the wires in the groups that contain the seed wires. Each group is then optimized as described in the paper. The edit propagation then continues in the same fashion to other groups in the order of proximity to the already treated groups. The process is stopped when all the wires have been treated. This example demonstrates the local frames encoding influence of one wire onto others and the individual wire and group optimization. In the presence of symmetry groups, when we optimize each individual wire, we also perform the same change on all the wires that are sharing a global symmetry with it. So treating a wire on one side of the object might influence wires on a remote part of the object. Here are a number of different user interactions during the manipulation of real-world models. We support several different interaction modes. For instance, here the user directly manipulates some wires which serve as handle constraints and the editing operation is then propagated to the remaining wires by our algorithm. We also support a sketch base interface where the user can draw guiding strokes to affect a significant portion of the model at once. The strokes influence the spatial arrangement of a set of wires and then the edit operation is propagated to the rest of the model.
Thank you for your attention.